Lavinia Milosevic is a queen supreme. <laughs> Somebody has been watching too much American Horror Story. Good morning, bitches. So today I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So I grew up under the perfect 10 in elite gymnastics. 10.0 was perfection. It was the goal. It's what every little girl wanted to achieve. It was the gold standard. It's what everyone was working towards. Faultless. Absolutely faultless. And 10 has gone on the board. That's perfection. And that is Olympic history for Nadia Comaneci. 10 dead. Throughout history, we saw that a 10 meant different things over the years. Sometimes it was used to grade gymnasts or judge them on a curve. So if one gymnast did a really good routine and she got a 995 and then somebody came along and did better, but was still not perfect, the judges would have to give her a 10. So what we saw after the 92 Olympics was a real crackdown on the 10. It was impossible to get a 10. In fact, after the Barcelona Olympics, we never saw another 10. The quota points was still around for over 13 more years, and we never saw another perfect 10 after that. The World Championships and the Olympic Games were the two most important competitions for elite gymnasts. So in this video, I'm gonna take a look at the last 10.0 on all the events at a Worlds or Olympics. Um, Maybe there'll be a surprise in here or two, maybe not. On vaulting, the last 10 came in team optionals at the 91 Worlds in Indianapolis, and it was Kim Zameskel. Aggressive run, good block, good flare and a damn good landing. I noticed she's a little bit off center, but that's about the only thing I would even think to deduct for. Other than that, it's a great ball. I, I like her, I like how she flares into that full twist. So I'm okay with the 10. I think one day I'll do a video about the 91 Worlds because there's a smorgasbord of issues, but that's a video for another time, and that's neither here or there for now. But yeah, that was a good ball. And when it comes to bars, the last perfect 10 was at the Barcelona Games in the event finals. Luli scored a perfect 10. The thing I love about Luli is how aggressive her swing is on bars. I mean, she really went after it. And I think at this point, she was trying to beat Kutsu's 995. Here is her beautiful, I think that's an inverted giant into a Jaeger. I'm not the best on some of these bar skills. She just stalled her. Loves the work on that low bar. Kip cast handstand, good handstand to Kachev. This routine is jam packed and done so well. This double layout, that is an exclamation point, I'll tell you. <laughs> that was outrageously good, really. Can we give an 11? <laughs> like, spectacular work. Totally deserving of a 10. This was actually the first perfect 10 of the Olympics in Barcelona. They waited, they were patient. And it paid off because she really deserved it. And I'll never forget that moment when she was on her coach's shoulders. That's one of my, that's one of the moments I remember the most from the 92 Olympics. So for balance beam, we actually have to go back a little bit to the 1989 Worlds in Stuttgart, Germany again, another Soviet. This was Alessia Dudnik, her beam routine from Team Optionals. And you already know with Dudnik, this routine is jam-packed as well. Layout, step out, mount. 
I love that part. She keeps all this on one foot into her acro series. Aerial into two layout step outs. The weakest part of her routine are her leaps. <laughs> well, just not, not too much amplitude there. But when it comes to acrobatics and tumbling, I mean, she's unrivaled. Round off, back full, perfect. Dudnik was not the most elegant gymnast, but she was one of the most courageous. And her beam routine is really a showcase for her difficulty. So she's truly throwing everything in the kitchen sink. All that's left is this dismount. Round off back handspring triple twist and a step on the landing. So, was that a 10? There were visible deductions in the routine. So I'm actually a bit disappointed that this scored a 10, even though there was so much difficulty. This was an example of her teammates had already gotten some pretty high scores in this routine. The judges wanted to reward because of the difficulty, but I'm not sure giving it a 10 was the right thing to do because there were visible deductions in the routine and her leap series didn't have any amplitude. So I don't know that that deserved a 10 to be honest with you. This is the main event, are you ready? The last 10 ever in elite women's artistic gymnastics. This was Lavinia Milosevic in floor finals at the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. And I think she was second or third up. And the judges basically wanted to give her this title. First pass, whip to full in punch front. Hop on the landing. The fat pass. Exceptional. And her dance is cute. Nice double turn. I mean, I literally remember this like it was yesterday. This was the first meet I ever watched as a fan. I was 13 years old. And then shades of Ekaterina Zabo, round off back handspring, one and a half twist step out, round off back handspring, one and a half twist punch for Annie into a jump. And this routine is well, well choreographed. You know, it caters to the crowd. She has a lot of difficulty here. A full in dismount, sticks it. I do like her ending pose. Again, you saw her mount was incredibly difficult, whipped to full in punch front, but she hopped on it. Technically, that's a deduction. Also, like I said, she was second or third up in the final, and they gave her a 10, meaning they wanted her to at least tie for first in the gold medal. The judges had already decided that throughout the Barcelona games, this was their favorite routine. This was the routine they wanted to win gold in floor finals. So for them to already have decided that, and to give this a 10 when she had to hop on the, the mount is a bit sus. <laughs> I don't know if I would have given this a 10 to be honest with you, but I'm not that mad about it because it's a good routine. And that floor final, I can't really think of any other routine that was, you know, hands down better. Anodi had a good routine, but I think her routine from 92 Worlds was better. So. I don't know, it's all in the eye of the beholder. You ask like 25 different people and you'll get 25 different opinions. That's the beauty of a subjective sport like gymnastics, right? So I hope you enjoyed this walk down memory lane with me. I had a lot of fun reliving those routines. Perfect 10 will always have a huge place in my heart. It was such a great time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button, subscribe, 
engage, comment, and I will see everybody in my next one. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Take care.